he went completely naked to weigh in as soon as he took off his underwear or whatever you call it some meat was hanging out was it a log was it mm, that's for you to decide go look it up on your own my oh boy was soft <laughs> but it was ah. would you rather him be whore just finish the bat yeah at least yeah half, 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 yes. half chub yes if after, i'm about to weigh in after what i seen <laughs> after what i seen i was offended what's going on everybody take two we weren't recording the first time this is the second intro it's about 10 minutes it's all right Sure. Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, episode 77. Fellas, round two. Moment of silence for my boy OJ. We can do, we are having a moment of silence You're for not OJ. Being he, <laughs> All right, that was long enough. <laughs> Again. All right. <laughs> I don't think there really was one. Be quiet. No. All okay, right, that's good. good. <laughs> hey, listen. Y'all can't keep acting like this. He was never convicted. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we think he did it or not. What Jordan said in the uh, mm, secret yeah. episode. Why would a uh, secret episode? <laughs> why would everybody have to Lost sign Fox. an NDA to come see him on his deathbed, Dante? Because they like came that. in and he was laying there. He said, "I did that shit." <laughs> he probably did tell his kids. One eye open. He was like, mm-hmm. "Well, hey, listen, we'll never know." So he's innocent until proven. I guess guilty. we'll never know. <laughs> All right. Let's get into what it, What did boys. we do after that? We asked a question. About the mass. Nah, let's keep, just get past that just master's get, conversation. Go straight into No one basketball. cares about golf anyways. I do. I live it. Anyways, what we were talking about in the unrecorded episode was um, the NBA playoffs. So a little bit about that. I mean, we can just dive right into it because we kind of already talked about it. We don't want to yep, repeat it, everything we just said. Dive right in. Um, we're going to start with the playing in the West. So the winner of nine and ten will play the loser of seven and eight. Nine and ten, Kings Warriors, seven and eight, Pelicans, Lakers. Kings Warriors, the rematch. You guys got. Hmm. Uh you shouldn't have to think about this. You're wearing a Warriors. Yeah. Shirt. I think I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> Warriors here. Hopefully Sabonis has a meltdown like he did last year. <sighs> Damn All it, time. Sabonis. Damn it, Sabonis. What are you looking at? What? Uh, you looking at the screen like something's fucked up. What's I'm, wrong? I'm just used to looking at the screen. Is it on me? Yeah. Hi. That's on me, baby. I'm going with the Kings. I, I think the Kings are just a better team. I don't know why they're in the play in this year, but. Because they I got just, Malik Monk. Malik Monk, the sixth man of the year, bro. I know. Malik That's why Buckets. you like him. That's my shout out to Kentucky, bro. F. John Calipari for life. All right. Keep I'm going. going Warriors. Hell yes, brother. Um. Can't count out the champs, bro. I won't count my opinion just because there's four of us, so it's going to be a split tie. Right. I would have chose the Kings, but we'll move the Warriors forward just for the sake of the the bracket for us. Okay. Um, then we have Lakers Pelicans. Pelicans. Dante likes to think that the Pelicans are going to win the because Lakers the Lakers are, are going to let them. They better lose on purpose if they want any shot. I think uh, they they're going to lose this game strategically. I think it's going to come down to you know just hanging around. That's you know. They- Oh, they've been doing it. They're going to be just hanging around, just messing around the whole game. And then before you know it, you know, end of the game. Ah, ball slipped out of my Zion hands. Turnover. Williamson, breakaway dunk. Nah, LeBron, <laughs> just throw it out of bounds. Like, just like throwing alley with AD and just throw it over the backboard. Ah, shouldn't have had that popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> did, did something happen to AD? What you mean? Like injury? I seen lower somebody back. tweeted and said, like, pray for AD or something. And I was like... Like, like, did he get hurt? I don't, I don't think anything happened. You know, like, people say stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't know like, if it was, like, just a tweet, like, he had a bad game or something. Yeah, like, or, pray for AD. He ain't played a full season in 10 yeah. years. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. Something like that. Who knows? Who you got, Jordan? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Lakers. All right. I think I would have chose Lakers, too, to be honest. I think they're just going to win outright, and then they just hope to beat the Nuggets. Um, but we'll move Pelicans forward because I told you my vote's not going to count. Do you so, th- do you think they can beat the Nuggets? No, <laughs> yeah, me either. I was just no. They don't. Neither do they. That's why they're yeah, gonna it's lose. Like, it's like ah, no, bro. They don't have the Jokic stopper and Dwight Howard anymore. Yep. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Like trying to sign Dwight Howard last minute to come back over just to guard Jokic. But remember, they needed some stuff to happen for them to beat them. You remember Plumlee had an all-time meltdown on defense, yep. left AD wide open for a three. Like little stuff like that changed the whole series. So like, I don't know. I don't think they can beat them though either. So Warriors, Lakers, Pelicans will play the Nuggets in our scenario. So Warriors... Lakers, who's going to play the Thunder? 
<laughs> the Warriors. <laughs> 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 They're gonna lose on purpose and, <laughs> and then, then lose again. <laughs> that ain't happened, bro. The Lakers <laughs> stop playing. Don't play with Bron like that, bro. Clay's gonna have forty three. Damn, on six and then dribbles. he's not gonna score the rest of the, the rest of the fucking playoffs. LeBron ain't letting that happen, bro. The rest Lakers. of the playoffs, he's gonna have like six points. The Lakers, bro. Lakers. I'm taking the Lakers too because Draymond's gonna get ejected. I like it. Nah, bro, he's gonna fall Eject? on. He's, he's, he's gonna, gonna trip and fall on. The, he's gonna trip and fall on LeBron's dick. So <laughs> he's gonna do. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Camera wasn't on me, was it? I I don't Thank know. God. He's gonna not. play defense and do that. Um. Yeah. So you got Thunder, Lakers, Nuggets. Well, um. Pelicans. So <sighs> the East now, Matt, your real team, which should be your real favorite team, has a chance to. It's my real favorite Chicago team. Which you mean? Chicago you Warriors. You ain't wearing any of their stuff He's right now. Fan. I did two weeks ago. You're this like, is a Golden State Bull, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got Bulls at the nine seed, Hawks at the ten seed. Um, the winner between them will play the loser of the 76ers and the Miami Heat. Yeah, give was me this? Co- give me Kobe White. Was this the matchup last year? Was it Hawks Bulls last I'm year? I'm like that. I believe so. Okay. Um, I think so. It was a, I wouldn't want to say not entertaining game to watch, but you're not hyped up to go watch this game, in my opinion. Who's if you're not a Bulls or a Hawks fan. <laughs> who's out? Isn't Trey Young still out? Not totally sure. And then, is Zach, Zach Levine's out too, right? So it's just DeMar. He might be on his way back, though. DeMar, Kobe, Kobe White show? No, he might have had surgery. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to look up Trey Young in the meantime. Go ahead and give your pick, Matt. I mean, Bulls. Kobe White has been going Absolutely bananas. Figured that one. I'm actually going to take the Hawks, bro. B A N A N A S. Oh, no. Trey Young just played. Yeah, Trey Young's healthy. Yeah, he just played. He played on Sunday. Yeah, Yeah, he just sucks. Oh, yeah, I got the Hawks. Jordy. I'm also going to go Hawks. But it's really weird to see two teams below 500 in the playoffs. (laughs) Hmm. No, I mean, like, they're the nine like, and ten seed. It's not. That's still insane. The Traditionally, it wouldn't be. What's right. their record? Playoffs. Uh, the Hawks are thirty six and forty six, and the Bulls are thirty nine and forty three. So, I mean, the Sixers are in the play in this year. Yeah, they are twelve games above five hundred. Okay, well, you got me there. I mean, they would have been the seven and eight seed too. So they would have traditionally been in the playoffs too. Right. Um, I would have chose Bulls, but told you my vote don't count. Hawks make it. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. This is some bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Literally. Um, so now you got the Sixers and the Heat. Now, uh, playoff whoever, whoever wins will play the Knicks. Whoever the loses, and, and if they win, crazy. will play the Celtics. Sixers and the Heat. That's ugly. In the playoff, in the play in, bro. Yeah. Well, they both, uh, yeah. I mean, they both can still make the playoffs. Yeah. So. All right. Let me get the Heat. I got the Sixers, man. Ooh, Jordan. Playoff Jimmy, give me the heat. So we'll move the heat to play the Knicks for the two and eight seed. Just give the heat the ring now for me. And then, I mean, you have Sixers and Hawks. Do we have to go around the room and kind of choose who we're going to pick there? No. I think we got no. 76ers. Yeah, we're all taking Hawks. Um, Bulls. <laughs> we're taking the Bulls. <laughs> so you got the 76ers playing the Celtics then. Give me Chicago. So the one and they would be the eight seed. Damn, Celtics about the gods. <laughs> I mean, no either way. either way, those two. I mean, if you're the Celtics, you want to see the Bulls or Hawks. You don't want to see the Sixers or Hawks. No yeah, way. Sixers or Heat. No, at all. No, you do not want to see. Um, them. So you're just hoping that the Bulls or Hawks have a crazy like two games and then play you and they just, just get swept. Out. They just get swept. <laughs> yeah, yeah. just dud out. Yeah, seeing the Sixers in the first round is nasty work for either team. Yeah, or the Heat, really. Yeah, yeah, they're not exactly. as good, but like that's not somebody the you want to see. The Heat get hot every year when it comes playoff time, bro. For the last what three seasons, like yeah. they made it to the finals twice. They Is made that- it in 2020, and then didn't they just make it again? Or am I wrong? I know I've been wrong about my basketball takes. So please again? correct me. Didn't the Heat make the finals twice in the last like four years? 2020. I know they made, they it. made it twice in the bubble in the last four there, years. I'm not then, totally sure. Was it last they, year? They lost to the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Jimmy pulled that three in transition. Wasn't that the Eastern Conference Finals? The Celtics played in the... They went to the ship last year? They played versus the... Not last year, two years ago. Mm. Because they lost to the Warriors. Who was last year? Last year was the Nuggets versus... So, 2020 was Mm Heat-Lakers. 21, Bucks suns 22, Celtics-Warriors. 23, Heat-Nuggets. Heat-Nuggets. So, they did make it twice. Okay. I low-key no ball. Last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, sidebar, for everybody who's attacking me about our uh, ranking video, hey, listen, man. Ranking what? When we rank the players, the ringless players, listen, uh, I had some things wrong. Absolutely. Call James Harden a two-time MVP. <laughs> you know, like, that That was my bad. Thought he won it twice. Listen, at the end of the day, we don't know everything. Okay? Straight, we don't, off, we don't straight off the top of the dome. Keyshawn Johnson said he never seen LeBron dunk on somebody. <laughs> Get out my face. Like, <laughs> see, like shut up. He gets paid to do that. That's what I'm saying. Time. Like... Like, don't get me wrong. We make so a little bit of money doing this, but, like, we ain't getting paid with their getting paid. <laughs> so, like, in a nutshell, we go say some wrong stuff. Leave me the hell alone. Continue we don't there. study for this shit. I did today. So, I mean, um, with that, do we want to wait till next week to, yeah, I think we should. to do the actual playoff bracket itself? Because the it'll be like, still it'll be like on game record. two by the time we record yeah. at least. Maybe game three. So, we'll, I mean, just quick go over it then. Thunder... Do we have Warriors there, right? Thunder Warriors. No, we got Thunder Lakers. Is it? Ah. Uh-huh. You, I you had Warriors, Warriors and you had Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. They're tanking to lose so they don't play Denver. Thunder no, I, Warriors. I said Lakers because Draymond was going to get ejected. Okay, so it's like, oh, so this motherfucker tried to trick me. He know what he's doing. <laughs> this motherfucker He knows what he's doing, I think bro. I was like, did I say Warriors? No, he didn't. They're Thunder tanking. Lakers. Who you got? Lakers. Upset. Matthias? He's thinking it too. He's thinking it too. No, hell no. He don't want to think <laughs> anything, don't Give me, give me, wrong. give me how many games? I was trying to say seven. 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 Both in seven? Yeah, seven. Jordy? Thunder in five. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, bye bye LeBron. Flaming hot Cheeto. <laughs> bye bye LeBron. I'd say Thunder in six. Um then we'll just move to the two seed Nuggets and Pelicans. <laughs> give me the nugs. I didn't know we were going to go around for that. Nuggets in five. <laughs> Nuggets. Pelicans in full. Man, get out of here. You don't even believe that. Brandon Ingram. Skill. 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 You don't believe that. <laughs> um, no, Nuggets. Zion size might help. I'm going to say Nuggets in four. They're just going to sweep them straight up. Zion no gentlemen sweep, Jokic, sorry. No gentlemen sweep, just straight sweep. Um, next, we have the Timberwolves and Suns to where KD... You have something to prove, buddy. Can you win a championship without joining a 73 and 9 team? I'm going to go ahead and answer no. that question. I know it was rhetorical, but no. No. <laughs> no. Don't think you can. Sorry, T. Durant. So, <laughs> Get the fingers ready. Yikes. Is he not winning this round? <laughs> no. I don't think he what? is. What? What? How many games? What? I think he'll probably go six. The I'm Suns sure. aren't good, bro. Give me the Suns. Ooh, how many games? Seven. Ooh, okay. Jordan. His foot ain't gonna be on the line this time. Oh shit! <laughs> Big yeah. ass feet, dude. <laughs> I think I think the Suns win in like six or seven, but then lose next round to whoever they play. Any of the other West teams beat them. Hey, we ain't got to get that far into it. That's fine. <laughs> we ain't asked all that um, precursor to next week. I'm gonna go Timberwolves. I just think they have a better overall team. I think the Suns probably have more star power <sighs> with the with their players and the names that they have, but. Timberwolves in six. Clippers, Mavs. Anthony Edwards don't want to see Grayson Allen. Shut up. That's not the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the matchup. <laughs> what did you say? Clippers, Mavs? Clipper, Clippers, Mavs. Clipper. Matt. Another Clippers thing I had four wrong. seed. Mavs were the five seed. Mavs. In. No. Huh? In. Six. All right. Um, apologies to Clipper Nation. Another thing I was wrong about in that video. Fuck Clipper um, Nation. So listen, That's out, a thing. out of respect for uh, Clip City, Chip City, baby. You remember Marcellus Wiley always saying that? Chip City. They got chips? Anyways, that ain't my team. Um, out of respect for the Clippers, I'm going to pick them to win this time. Ooh. What'd well, you do wrong? They won. I said Luca was their daddy. I was he wrong. is. Nah, yeah, I was wrong. They won they, twice. Luca hasn't beaten him in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Well, he's about to. Didn't Clippers you beat him twice. Too? Clippers beat them twice. You got Clippers beating them a third time in the playoffs. Man, I remember Luka hitting game winners, talking smack to them cats, bro. I swear. Me too, bro. Maybe it was in the bubble to get to the playoffs. This is the best like, team Luka's had. Too. I got to do some research. They're about to fuck. It's the best team Luka, well, Luka's had. Even I, if the Clippers haven't gotten beat by Luka yet, they're getting beat by Luka they're this, about to. this year. So. You don't okay. want that raw raw? Mavs in, Mavs in foul. Oh. Raw Ooh. raw shit. I think it might go seven. Um, I'm going to do 
Mavs. Mavs in seven. Watch Mavs the Clippers will all of a sudden be like super God, healthy. Squad. I mean, they, I mean, they Kawhi, got Russ, Kawhi, Paul George. Kawhi's hurt. So That's what I'm saying. He's he can't come back. Yeah. He'll come I back mean, he, and be he, fine. There's, yeah. We don't know if it's going to be game one, game two. He'll come two, back and be perfectly he fine. He should be fine. Um, so that's our Western Conference. We'll go to the Eastern Conference. We got Celtics and 76ers. <laughs> Celtics uh, in six. I'm a hater, bro. So it was really hard for me Do to it. pick this because you know I can't stand Do Boston. Do it. I don't know if the Sixers got this enough. This is probably the only round they're winning. I'm going to pick Boston. I, the only round? I don't think they got enough. I'm going to pick Boston. Yeah, Celtics in six. In six, okay. Do it. Do if it I'm there. the Celtics, this is the one team I wouldn't want to play against. Absolutely. Um, Who's their big? Celtics in seven. Chris Stapps. Oh, yeah, Chris Stapps yeah. or um, I forget the other guy's name. Mike. But it's it'll be a fun series to watch. Um, we'll move on. Knicks, Heat. I think either team can win this. He'd always turn up in the playoffs. They always turn up, bro. They Nick's can be a low a first seed round and go crazy. Exit. Who you got, Matt? Exit. The Heat. In seven. Ooh. Playoff gonna, Jimmy, six points in a row to end the game. Am I going to drink the Miami Heat playoff Kool Aid? <laughs> White Dante been going off. White Dante is about to run into He's Black been going Jimmy. Off. <laughs> That wasn't Jimmy tonight. That was James. <laughs> he was like, my name is literally Jimmy. <laughs> uh, you know what? The Knicks have had enough pain. I'm going with the Knicks this year. Ooh. I mean, they won the last year. What'd you say? They won in the first round last year. Yeah, I'm just well, saying they've like had a lot of pain of thinking they're going to like really do it every year. And I'm like, ah, you didn't. Yeah, you sound like screaming A. Smith. What? The Knicks. I'm, I'm, I'm on their side this time. The New York Knickerbockers. What you call well, it? White Evan is going to be sad <laughs> when the Knicks get swept <gasps> by playoff Jimmy. Yo, uh, they Jalen get, Brunson ain't letting them get swept. If they get swept, move the team. That would no be Julius crazy. Randall though, right? Yeah, yeah I Julius randall has been. I out. think he's done for the year. Yeah, they got to be done for the year. She had to get another surgery. Yeah, the white team. black dude's about to have oh, yeah, way too much playing time. Hartenstein, the, the white, 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 white black dude. dude's gonna have way too much PT, brother. The white black dude is crazy. He's black, but he's also white. He he appears yeah, white. It's weird. It's it's a uh, illusion. Logic. Yeah. yeah. You know, my kid's white. Heat and seven. But she's black. I'll go heat and seven. Then we'll move Bucks Pacers. And before you make your prediction, Giannis will not be there. I'm gonna keep for real. that series. I'm gonna keep the real whole series too. for sure. I was gonna pick the Pacers, regardless. Because uh, this is for the start of their opening round series. Woes just tweeted. And said that the Bucks are preparing to be without Giannis for the start of their opening series. Doc Rivers about to be donkey of the day, big dog. He's about to get bounced in the first round. Red nose of the week. Red nose of the week last week, even though Derek didn't put it out. But let, yeah, let's go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw I didn't sorry. mean to throw a jab at you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pacers. Pacers. Bucks. Ty- <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton. <laughs> I just can't sit here and serve us up alley you just to block it. <laughs> I think I think the Bucks can win. I mean, I hate the Pacers. I have no reason for hating the Pacers. I'm not an NBA I fan. Know. I'm not nothing. I just for some reason that team just I don't know. I low key like the Pacers. They're fun to watch. They're they fun, to, fun watch. to watch. I mean, these are a thunder. lot of fucking points. I was gonna bro. say if you want to watch a, if you want to watch a series that's gonna put up a lot of points, Bucks and Pacers is gonna be. Yeah, bro, Halliburton and Dame awesome. Lillard might just be running down court, just shooting Chugging. threes. They shooting did an All Star game. Um, <laughs> that's what I mean. I think if Giannis is out for two games and comes back, the Bucks still win, even if they go down 0-2. Um, but if Giannis is, what not, are the seeds? If he's not there, three seed and six seed. Who's the three? Uh, Bucks. Bucks. They're forty nine. Oh, the Bucks are the three seed. Yeah, forty nine. They go down 0-2, two. It's curtains. You're going to in, you're going to any Indy for the other for the next two. Yeah, I mean, it's I over. think Giannis is o two at home. I mean, he's he was built for this shit. Won a championship he's already. About to get built he's able to L. win in the in away games. Um, but if he's if he's not there for three or more games, it's curtains. I give Pacers the win, but I'm going to go Bucks for right when now. When he was. When he did win his ship, they were probably like a one or a two seed. They were. Uh, he got home. They court still had to play away games. Home court every time. He yeah, still had to play away games. Yeah, but the series don't start till somebody wins one on the road. That's true. Green. The Pacers win two on the road to start. 
Yeah, it's curtains. He has to win a lot more than just an away game. <laughs> hey, people thought it was curtains down 3-1 in the finals, but hey. But they ain't got the best player in the world, though, Craig. <laughs> All hey, right. Real quick, though, fun fact before you move off Go of that. For it. Adrian Griffin's uh, Adrian Griffin's record with the Bucks was 30-13. and 13. Once they relieved him of his duties, Doc Rivers is 17-19. and 19. I was going to say 17 and 18. I remember seeing a stat after 17 which one it and was. 19. What That's a terrible. Piss poor coaching effort. Terrible. <laughs> the black John Calipari God strikes damn again. It. <laughs> All right, keep going. I think it's the Italian Doc Rivers. You got Cavs, oh, Magic. Know. Cavs are the four seed. Magic are the five seed, both one game apart, you know, in the regular season. So, keep real with your big dog. Why might do Paulo get disrespected so much? Nobody Magic shows have one him of, no love. Magic have one of the best defenses in the league, along with the Cavs, which. It's his second year. Yeah. And this dude took his team from like the number one, number two pick to five seed, bro. Yep. That's fucking wild. Dude's a baller. And remember, Chet was supposed to be one that year. They took Paulo one instead. Imagine if Paulo. Who did they take last year? Jalen Suggs. Was that Jalen Suggs last year? That was two years ago. That was before Paulo. Suggs was there by himself for a second. (laughs) Cavs Magic. 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 Ooh, and how many? Magic in probably seven. Yeah, I'll say seven, too. Cavs in six. I got Cavs winning this round. Um, if they don't, eh, my point's proven with the Donovan Mitchell trade. But <laughs> Yeah, we're homers. Um, I, I got the Cavs winning this one in, in six. So... That's all our predictions for the playoffs so far. You know, we'll get back into it whenever, you know, next week when we record. So, um, I don't know, Matt, if you watched, but I know us three watched UFC 300. I don't know if you even had time. Sorry. Crazy. I watched. We were talking about it, weren't we? We were. I don't know. Okay. I didn't know if you, if you watched, but it was a crazy card. Some of them. Dante asked if this was the greatest card I ever watched in which... I don't know. I get drunk when I watch them, so I really don't remember too many of them. That's crazy. After, you know, a month or two. So, but it was a great card to watch. That is, that's a hard question, to be honest. It might, it might honestly be the greatest card that I've watched. Fight wise, yeah. I mean, in terms of the way that it was hyped up in my head the whole time, I was saying 299 was going to be a way better card. Like, there's too much hype around 300. It's not going to be that sweet. I watched every fight, every fight from the early prelim till the main event. That was an insane card. So that kind of plays to a question I have real quick for you guys. So you thought 299 was going to be a better card than 300. You thought it was overhyped. They were overselling it. 299, would you guys agree or disagree, had bigger stars, like more star power in it? No. You don't think so? Okay. No. You had two two former champions fighting in the prelims. First fight. The very first early prelim was two former champions. You can't. That's crazy. You can say more star power in the main event. That okay with only Sugar Sean. I mean, you have Dustin Poirier, which is nice. You got the Kevin Holland, Michael Page. There's no star power there. You got Kevin Holland a little bit. Gilbert Burns mm, and Peter Yawn and Song Yudong. Shout out Song Yudong. But I remember you made his bet on how many lost. Anyways, I'm I don't. I don't think that's <laughs> comparable to the UFC 300 <clears throat> to where. If I can get to it. No, the UFC. You have Pierre, uh, Jamal Hill, Yan Wei Lee is one of the greatest she scared women's the shit fighters out of me. ever. On her, she scared the shit out um, of me. Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway, mm-hmm. <sighs> crazy names there. Charles Oliveira, the other guy, can't say his name. Um, Bo Nickel, and then Al Joe and Yuri Procta in prelims. And there was another. Who else was in the prelim? Uh, Cody Garbrandt and Cody Garbrandt. So that's that crazy. was the former champion fight. Cody Garbrandt and. Uh, and be honest. I'm Both of them were former name. champs. All Joe and Yuri. Divas and so it's three champs in the <laughs> in the yeah, prelims. True. That true. Oh, and that I know that him. dude was in a main card a couple of times. Who? I don't know. Uh, He's Brazilian. He Divas he fought Brandon Moreno before and had a really really good fight. Dude that always got the red like he always got that red dye. Yeah, yeah, like I know stripe. what you're talking about. Yeah. All right, so are we working That's our way up or working our way down? Starting with Aljo. Starting with we going. I, I wanted to say one thing about Aljo, but we don't have to start with him. We can start with Jim Miller. Uh, he debuted in UFC 89 and fought in 100, 200, and 300. How old that is he? Fought. He's old, bro. He's not super old, but I think he... 
don't quote me on this, he might have the most wins in UFC history, or he has one of the stats just because it's 40. like a longevity stat. 40? 40. 40. He's yeah. 37 and 18. That's old to be getting kicked in the face, bro. 47 and 18. I don't know how many were in the UFC, but I Dang. think he. I think he's up there. Him and Donald Cerrone were pretty close with the most wins. I don't know who else is up there. That's crazy. And he, lost, is old. he lost to Bobby Green, which that was a good fight too, as the second fight of the night. I didn't. Miss, I missed his fight and I missed Aljo's fight. My first fight that I watched was um, Jerry. Damn, you got Jessica Andrade and Jalen Turner also. Dante, you missed the whole main card or the whole prelims if your first fight you seen was. Yeah, I, I essentially watched the main card. Um, I was at birthday parties, bro. I got kids. Eh, fuck, fuck them kids. I. <laughs> Can't say that to my kids. And you guys call me another stereotypical black dad, huh? You don't take care of his kids. <laughs> All right. Double-edged sword. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's a lose-lose situation here, guys. Cody Garbrandt, I thought he was in a win. That's one of my, for no reason, one of my favorite fighters. Is it because he's a local? Uh, no. I actually have no idea why I became a fan of him. Okay. I was, I've been a fan of him for a long time. Right. And it turns out my girlfriend... Okay. Her married in uncle oh, okay. is cousins with Cody Garbrandt. Okay, I thought you were going to say something way crazier. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what. I just thought we were about no. to go left so Her uncle is wild. cousins with Cody Garbrandt, which I didn't know. That's kind of cool. Okay. Fire. Not why I'm a fan, though. I was a fan way before. I do feel bad for Aljo because he won his fight. No one came in the octagon to, uh, yeah, to give bro, him an what? interview. They hate that. They don't, they don't want bro. that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, what, so every like, prelim fighter. That one got an interview with Joe Rogan or somebody came DC, into the octagon someone. and said something. Except Aljo. Nobody. He was For just really? standing around in the octagon smiling, taking pictures like, where the fuck is everybody they at? They said, fuck him. Just hanging around. Yeah, just hanging around. That's crazy. That's a former champion. Show Sean some respect. sent him to the shadow realm. Bro. He's, he's gone. That fight wasn't over yet. They stopped that too soon. I stand on that. Yeah, I also do. There was another fight. I, I can't remember who it was. But I was watching it. I was like, when the fuck are they going to call this thing? It might have been. <laughs> Wei Lee's fight should have been stopped. When she got choked out, yes. She was sleeping but at the But even end of the at first one round. point, when she was on top of her, just beating her head in, bro. Like, no, when she, she was, was on still her back. Defending. Barely, that's, bro. I'm as long actually, as you're showing that you're defending, that's really what they look for. I'm actually happy they didn't call it when she got choked out. It might have been. It was, she was able been, to get right back up. She didn't know where she was, but she was able to get back up and walk away. She didn't she, stumble or wobble. Man, she buckled a she little bit. She didn't stumble or wobble. Ah, Derek, she no, almost she's fell right. over. No, nah, she was able to walk back. Her knees was weak. Arms was heavy, bro. She didn't have all that oxygen the fucking in there. Ref said, It was hey, bro, still coming back. Over there. You're you're over there. And she's fucking. You know you're lost when a ref points <laughs> hey it turned out to be a great fight right it was a great fight yeah that Good was thing they didn't call it. that was her biggest test for sure and for for a while i thought i guess we're talking about this fight now so we just jumped around um i, mean, I thought she was gonna lose she went from minus 500 to plus 100 betting odds at one point during the fight yep took her at plus 100 good win um a lot of people thought it was gonna be over in the first round and the craziest part was is i love when fighters don't listen to their corner Love it. They kept telling her. Her not corner to kick. said, "Stop kicking low." She counters you every time when you kick low. She said, as soon as the round much. started, low kick, bam, right down the pipe, almost <laughs> dropped her <laughs> immediately. And then he's like, "I said, don't kick low." <laughs> I do want to. I do want to shout out to uh, Yon though. She that was a good hell fight. of a fight. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah of a hell of she's a fight. badass. Yeah, now, she was putting the beats on her, bro. Like she was yeah. whooping her ass for a little bit. Now, one guy. I know we're jumping around a lot, but I want to go back to the prelims. Jalen Turner. I don't know if you guys watched that fight. No info. Fuck on it. that guy, bro. First round, he punched, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to say it, Moicano. I don't know how to say yeah. his first name, Renato or something. Mm -hmm. He punched Moicano in the face and dropped him flat on his yeah, back. Fucking One punch, idiot, dropped bro. him. He thought he won the fight, turned around and walked away. He looked at the ref and said, It's over. Yeah. He turned around, walked away from the dude that was not knocked out, laying on the ground. Dude got up and beat him in the next round. Dude, that's how I Jaylen lost Turner my bet. Lost. We, me and Jordan had money on it. Oh, that's red nose. That's week. how I lost and my bet. Pl he my was bet. plus. He was like plus one. Was he plus like, one? plus two fifty? Plus three eighty. It was something. It crazy. was plus something. But like, 
Walked over to the cage, was like, was about to get on top of it and stuff. Oh, that's right. He of thought week, it bro. was like a Sean O'Malley, like one yeah, punch, when he like just hit him done. and they just yeah. stopped it. That's no. red nose of the week. There, you gotta, you gotta it, talk bro. about it, bro. That's red nose of the and, week. I mean, this is the reason why a lot of jump on top and finish that motherfucker. A lot of dudes that don't watch UFC or MMA in general to where like. Like, why are you fist pounding on the dude that's no, already knocked out? It. You have to. Yeah. Until the ref comes in and stops you, yeah, you, you just have, have to. to keep going. 100%. Um, yeah, he's right nose at week. And that's, booking now. that's reason number one. You ended up losing the fight because <laughs> of that. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Come I didn't on. know that. Like, it, TKO. Too. So it's not crazy. by decision. He actually got TKO'd. Like, he hit the fucking nene going back and just fell down. The like, nene. Oh, yeah. It looked like he was sleeping, but he was not sleeping. Right. The um, one guy I wanted to talk about, dude, did you guys see uh, Diego Lopez? I did not. He's no. a Brazilian that looks like he's from where Derek and D-Bake are from. Okay. All White right. as hell you with down. a long ass mullet, bro. And I bet on Sadiq Yusuf. Okay. And I watched Diego Lopez walk out with his fucking mullet flailing in the wind and just fucking knock the fuck <laughs> out of Sadiq, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the, match, the fight started, he was just punching the shit out of him. And I was like, oh, this fucking Brazilian white dude with a mullet is just nice, I guess, huh? Um, this dude's just a dog. Yeah, he's just nice. <laughs> yeah, I did. I missed all the prelims, man. I was mad at that. You didn't see Kayla Harrison's fight? No, I didn't. Home? Man, I did not. that bitch they, is they had no huge, reason to even be bro. in. They had, she had no reason to be in the cage with she, her. She's massive. She's, she's massive. She's so big. She, uh, she countered Holly Holm at first, but then it was over. That's what's. I don't want to say sucks about the the women's divisions. There ain't nobody else. To There's to like be in you got the top five. She's in, low the, key in the division like, and like, like the separation. She, of she's them bigger and than all of them. She beat the fuck out of Holly Holm. Yeah, like it was bad. Dang. Look, like when you look at their ESPN pictures. I'm into watching. Holly it. Holm is just all red in the head. I'm into go Kayla back Harris and watch it. Is just all red in the fine. head. <laughs> yeah, I'm into go back and watch it. This is a Dr. Seuss book. Red in the head. All right, so what was the first fight? Was it Jerry? Oh, he won't play first fight crazy. in the main card was Bo Nickel. Yeah, and Jerry was the last fight. Like, dog, it was over. Uh, and Gary Barnage. He's crazy. Okay, so I started with Jerry. Um, Gary Barnage? <laughs> His out name's to, uh, Cody Burndage. <laughs> shout out to Jerry. Well, he had no business being in there <laughs> yeah. either. You want to tell uh, everybody what Jerry did to prep for his fight, Jordan? I have the quote if you don't have it up. I don't have it Yo. up. I know I sent it to you. He, what, sat in a dark room for three days with nothing but water to face his demons? He went that motherfucker days. wasn't he worried about demon. blocking shit. He no. went he three days without food in a dark room to confront demons to train his mind. Dog. Hey, and bro, I, thought he he ain't worried about I wish shit. I could get three days in a dark room to myself. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I hate you. I'm just kidding. It sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, but that cat is crazy. He's insane. Yeah. yeah. But he pulled the Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to be real with you. He always does the Aaron Rodgers, but he never did it in the dark room. This is that definitely is, the first time he did it in the dark room. He always goes out in the wilderness. But that's the most non athletic UFC fighter I've ever watched in my Fury? life. Yeah. Hey, he's just stiff as a board. Just like bro. watching him throw a punch was uncomfortable. He's a champ. Uh, he, was, he got them hands and he can eat a punch. He well, took some punches to the grill. Even when, like, I bet on him. And then, like, they showed him, like, warming up in the locker room. You know how they always, like, punch the camera and stuff? Oh, my God. I said, holy fuck. This is who I bet on? (laughs) It just looked so unathletic, unorthodox. Like, it was weird. Yeah, I wouldn't say unathletic. It just looked looked stiff, I would say, for you. He's Um, a big dude, Because the dude's fit as fuck. He's 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 athletic. Yeah. I mean... I don't want to say go watch looked, tape. But. He looked, I've, dude. I've looked. I looked him up after. Six three two zero six. Yeah, that's massive, bro. He's a big dude, and that's not that what walks around. That, that's that. not walk around that's weight. That's fight way weight. Yeah. The yeah. other dude like just looks so much more comfortable. My my favorite thing about uh, UFC is like how much they respect other people's punching power, and um, like when they're about to get countered and they know it's coming. They flinch just like a normal dude in a street fight. Like they just throw their oh, oh my god. Like I I love that though because like think about like when we had gloves at the shop and we box and you see a punch coming, how many times did you just go, ah like trying to avoid it. When I see them cats do it, I'm like, ah, that makes me feel good. Makes me feel real good. <laughs> but we can run through the main card real quick. Let's run it. Bo Nickel. I mean, we kind of that dude, expected Cody that. gave him a good fight in the first round. He did. He's also a, uh, uh, He's a, a really state champion. Was he a state champion wrestler in high school? Or in college, I mean? Cody? 
Yeah. I believe so. There was a lot of state champ wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> in I, America. I, I, I believe he was like runner or up for national. But I think in college, though, he was, though. Yeah. yeah. I think in college. Um, I don't but, know how many divisions. Well, Nicole, I mean, he Three? finally submitted somebody. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure all his other fights were knockouts. Mm hmm. So. Who? And that was Bo the first Nickel. time we went out of the I thought they were all too, submissions. Right? No, Bo Nickel's a wrestler, but hasn't, like, in his career, I'm pretty sure he didn't wrestle people, like, to win. No. Oh, yeah, he is sub, 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 KO. So, oh. never mind. I was going to say, I thought he had all I submissions. I thought it was mad KOs, and I was like, why is this dude a wrestler and just be submitting, or just be knocking people out? Was that his first fight that made it out of the first round? Yes. Okay. That's why he was so mad at himself. You can see, like, he was disappointed in this Well, stuff. he said he was yeah, glad that he that got to not that go to the second round. I did, too. I did too, but that was a, it. Was a good it was a good match. Like he survived. I mean, you got to watch a better match after that. Charles Oliveira and our man just yeah, that was fire. Before Sirkian, before we talk about the I thought it was see, over. Y'all see my boy punch a fan before he got to the uh, octagon? Yeah, yeah. I thought it. dude hit him. Yeah. Nah, dude, nah, he was just sitting there like this. Yeah, and he stuck him. Like, he I was just flipping him off. Bro, they're get about to get sued. He can't get your hand out of my face, dude. No, for sure. Like, don't. I hate he when has, fans do listen, that. Listen, tunnel vision. He's ready to fight. <laughs> he's like, off, he's about to. Adrenaline. He's not about to go play a basketball game. Yeah, he's about to go literally Kill physically someone. assault someone. Yeah, he is in like well, full he or he will Kill get fucked mode. up. Yeah, right exactly. <laughs> well, if you he, ain't in that mode and you got your you fucking can, middle yeah. finger in my face, dude, get the fuck out of here. Well, he physically assaulted my guy. Fuck him. Yeah. And he physically assaulted his opponent. Yeah, but I thought he was going to lose, though. Me I too. Oliveira had him. Yeah, he had him. He had, him first. He had a couple, <laughs> like couple chokeholds. He was like, like yeah, I can't win. Mm-hmm. It I was a good fight. He had him. He had him in a couple chokeholds, and that dude was like, I ain't tapping. He yeah. almost, Oliveira almost got him standing, You've got too, to kill me. Mm-hmm. at one point. No, nah, that, that was a good fight. I definitely, you know, betting purposes. I'm looking at it like, ah, losing that one. Next fight. You thought it was going to go the distance the last 20 seconds, but hey. Max Holloway said, right hey, here, right, right now. Golf clap real quick. Go. I want to give him a round of applause. Baby, make that ass clap. Give him a round of applause. And he didn't need to do it. Hey, for you to have the fight won, all you got to do is survive. And for you to take the risk of getting knocked out. If he would have got knocked out, that's Red Nose of the Week. Hey, that's Red Nose of the Week. <laughs> but <laughs> they're fighting for the BMF title. For the people who don't know what the BMF title stands for, it's the baddest mf out there. Motherf- and that's how you show that you are. My dude, 10 seconds, had the win. He said, meet me right here and just started throwing hands. Not his first time doing it, no. but, hey, title fight and that's what you do, that's respect. He didn't, he even, he's never done it to an opponent like Justin Gaethje. Right, yeah, somebody that and you that, truly have to, like, respect. That's what it, it's crazy. And he was winning the fight, so. The whole time. He probably won every round. There was no reason for him to really do that. No. <laughs> None at all. And I think that is, that's what makes it more like a. Ooh. He's a real one for that. Like yeah. you did not have to do that, oh, man. You could just dance one of around. the hardest hitting people in lightweight. So, and you're gonna just call him center octagon. Yeah, Let's that, run it ten seconds. That motherfucker like probably only had about thirty percent left. <laughs> Gaethje was getting beat. Yeah, he was. What were you, what were you, what were you about to say, Derek? I stuttered. Holloway got knocked down, but the UFC didn't count it. He's never. Is that what you, what to you mean? He yeah, was he's never, never been knocked he's down. never been knocked down. But Justin Gaethje stuck him. He, he knocked like, him he down. Went to like, both what do you mean? Knees. They didn't count it. They didn't count it. They, they didn't count it as a knockdown. They didn't count as a knockdown. He like catches himself. There's some he got technicality down. with it. If you can catch yourself like with your hand and get back up, then and it's within not a certain amount of time, technically it's not a knockdown. knockdown. Yeah, there's like a technicality to why but it wasn't, but it was. That's a knockdown. That's a they should change it to you've never been put on your ass. Yeah, uh, he's on his knees, not his ass. That's what I mean. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. then it, so then it works. Um, but I mean, even still, never been knocked down in the UFC. Yeah, that's fire. That's insane. That's fire. The one yeah. thing with that fight that I took away is Justin Gaethje had no idea to do what to do with that like spinning kick Max Holloway kept hitting him with because that's the one that busted, busted his nose up his nose in the first round. The rings, boy. Max Holloway threw that kick. Countless times throughout the rest of the he fight, he landed it every time. Every time, Justin Gaethje ducked into it. Every time, I was going to say he set it every up perfectly. Time. He, he ducked was, into it when he busted his nose, mm-hmm. and he was going for that same shot over and over and over. And Gaethje wanted him to get it. I guess has right? Gaethje been head kicked before? Ducking into it like crazy, like like really hard because like Probably. it was like like I a mean, PTSD moment where you thought you were about to get your head kicked off again. And you just crouch into it, and you're like, ah, stomach kick, damn it. He's never, been, face. <laughs> never been KO'd like that, but no, I don't um, think so. You know why I think Max Holloway fought so hard, though? Hmm. 
think he needed to uh, make the world forget about something. The do video you guys, I showed? Do you guys remember the weigh-in? I mean, <laughs> Matt, you I weren't... He, I think it got inflated after. Matt, you weren't at the barbershop, but uh, <laughs> similar to Juju, Max Holloway got leaked. You see that silver thing right there? Um, Look at the very top. Not the wide part, just the very top. Just the tiny that, top. That's Max Holloway. Anyways, <laughs> someone had a side angle of him weighing in. He went completely naked to weigh in as soon as he took off his underwear or whatever you call it. Some meat was hanging out. And was it a lot? Was it? Mm, that's for you to decide. Go look it up on your own. My boy was soft. <laughs> but it was. Ah, Would you rather him be hard? Just finish the bat. Yeah. At least yeah. Half, oh, yes. half chub. Yes. If after, I'm about to weigh in. After what I seen. <laughs> after what I seen, I was offended. <laughs> okay. Put that little shit away. You, know, you got to like rub right. it a little bit before like, you walk out there. You be like, you got a little meat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to knock your ass out. He'll knock you out though. Uh, facts. I wouldn't fight him. <laughs> cool guy gonna fight cool you and guy. put his little meat in your nose. I'm shooting. <laughs> it probably fit. would fit. It'll fit. It looked like that's it why I said your nose, not right, your mouth. Move to the next fight, bro. <laughs> we talked about Whaley. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can yeah, move we can on to that. Pierre and Jamal Hill. So, listen, I'll let you guys talk about this. I do have something to say about it, though. I'm just, uh, I'm just disappointed because, uh, you know, he tried to pull the the Sean O'Malley when he said. Um, you know, I didn't lose my belt because he got hurt towards ACL playing basketball or his meniscus. No, it was his um, Achilles, Achilles. Mm -hmm. towards Achilles playing basketball. So he had to technically forfeit his title. Right. Yep. So he didn't lose it. So he pulled the Sean O'Malley. Like, hey, I'm undefeated. I didn't lose that fight. I got hurt. You know, he didn't lose his belt. He got hurt. That's the performance you want to show us after saying you didn't lose your belt. That's that's the performance you waited for him at the edge of the octagon. Trying to be hard. You weren't in your corner. You weren't in the... He, like, he was waiting at the gate of the octagon. And that's what you did. I fell asleep mid-fight and woke up just in enough time for him to get knocked out. That's how fast it was. It was in the first round, yeah. I, I fell asleep there. <laughs> like, I, I mean, fell asleep. Did you watch it? Yeah. I watched okay. the whole thing I except mean, for like I was, the 30 seconds. I want Derek to explain I was fucking, his POV of the fight. My, I was oh. fucking pissed, bro. Yeah. Like, I stayed up that Don't you late. that? Yeah, bro. Yeah, especially when I haven't slept at all. Yeah. At least you didn't also spend the eighty dollars. Just for it. them to be like, right. that's a scary dude. That's a very scary dude. I very, mean, very scary dude. He, he's a scary dude. <laughs> it's one of the most badass things I've seen. Hundred percent. Um, so Derek has got a lucky POV to where no. uh, unlucky POV. Continue. Oh. Sorry. Anyways, when I poke or no nut kick, right? Fucking addict. Ref came over. Was gonna stop it for a second to check. You know, he's just like, nah. what, what, what did you think of that? In what way? Like, do you think that <laughs> they should have still should stopped stepped it? in, stopped it, let them readjust? Like, would you think? No, because it's not like he stopped and then swung instantly. Okay. Stop. Okay. They both were, they understood they were still going. Okay. No, neither, neither one dropped their hands. Gotcha. And then he proceeded to. Yeah. He didn't even catch him clean. That's the crazy part. That shows yeah. you how much power he has. I mean, so, he did break in Ghana's punch, like power record, but that shows you the power he has. That was badass. Yeah, 100%. I know Jordan has a lot to say. So. Well, how did your... Uh, yeah, tell us your story yeah, about the your, fight, though, when you watched you it. you saw it happen. You remember? I don't. I was in an Xbox remember? party with you. You, you didn't, didn't watch it, but story? you did watch it. Stream, the stream messed up. Oh, yeah, so I'm watching it. <laughs> I told okay, Derek so that I was my stream it. was a, real quick. My stream was ahead, so I saw it happen, and I told Derek he was playing two K. I said, "Bro, watch. It happens in the first round. Just watch." That's you all was I that said. behind? <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, stream East. Shout out to them. They just weren't up, you know, on par with me for you know that moment. I'm not, I'm not shouting out where I watch my stuff because I don't need a lot of people going there and making it all buffer and shit. And um, I was watching it, and the one thing that you don't want to happen when you're watching a illegal stream is it pause at a perfect time. Mm -hmm. And one thing I know, nut kick happened, he hit stop, starts spinning. Oh my God, I see him doing this. No! <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what the what fuck happened? just happened? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Hey, that was fire though, because like when they showed the slow mo, I, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> when they showed the slow mo of him like landing that punch, my dude's eye—he turned into Undertaker. His eyes just rolled right in the back yeah. of his head, bro. Yeah. That was pretty crazy. No, Derek was—he uh, was like I said, he was playing two K, and I told him he was like, oh, "I'm crazy. behind you. I'm at like two minutes." And I was like, "All right, watch. It's at like a minute fifty-three. And he goes, "Jordan, it's paused at a minute 54. Oh no. <laughs> 
Uh, the one thing that I, I want to say about it, though, I know that Pereira kind of waved him off. Both fighters were still in it, but and it's not an excuse for Jamal Hill, and I don't think he should use it as an excuse. If Herb Dean's going to step in and like call the time, I don't think the fighter should, one, be able to wave him off. I think that they he should have to eye-to-eye -eye talk to him, like reset real quick, just let him know, hey, I'm good. Keep it going. I just... How locked in was Jamal Hill? Does, did he think that the fight was going to stop? And it wasn't like, it wasn't like, you know, he waved him off and it was like five, six, seven seconds. It was like he waved him off and like three seconds later, he knocked him out. Yeah. So I he, mean, I think that's what makes it that much worse. I mean, there's been mm, thousands <laughs> of fights probably that this has happened. Either I poke nut shot, the other dude is fine. And they're like, yeah, cool. And they dap up real quick, keep fighting. Yeah, yeah this and time I, I think if you do that, if you like kind of recognize the, hey, like it's it's good, I'm good. But I just think Jamal Hill was kind of expecting like a, a stop. And maybe he wasn't and prepared. He wasn't it ready. It wasn't stopped. But yeah. did you guys catch the one thing that Alex Pereira did? I didn't see it until after the fight in the picture of the punch. Uh -uh. One thing that he loves to do is step on his opponent's foot as he's throwing the punch. He stepped on Jamal Hill's foot so he couldn't escape the punch. That's fire. Is that illegal or not? No. No. That's fire. Yeah. No, it's that's like a Lance illegal. Stevenson on Jeff Green, buddy. Yeah, that's fire. <laughs> step really? on your foot, cross you over. <laughs> so listen, uh, Matt has to get out of here in a couple Chris of minutes. Paul, Steph Curry. And I know we still had two more things that we wanted to do. So we'll do the ranking one after, and maybe we can put Matt's in. I think we have to build the worst NBA player because I think we need Matt for that one. We want to do that live in yeah, the pod real quick. Want to do, do we want to do it? I was going to say, we can do it like as a bonus. I mean, we're 46 minutes in. You okay, call cool. it now? Let's, or yeah, let's close it out. Close it out. Shout right. out. Hey, put it on me real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. Hit that thing. We were on the pod or the, put it on, me real quick. on the live stream for like about an extra 40 minutes. I wanted to give a quick shout out to our dudes, Asher and Adrian. They wanted a quick shout out. We're going to give you guys a quick shout out. Yeah. I was going to throw it in randomly in the podcast but uh, i didn't know where to so i didn't know where to watch, put it gotta watch to the end watch boys the whole thing gotta I watch owe, the whole thing i owe adrian a shout out so can you put it on me give him an apology first you asshole adrian apology. i do not apologize for what what am i apologizing for what i do to him i don't know it took you forever to give him a shout out <laughs> nah, I'm like not to say i for apologize that. for absolutely nothing shout out to my guy adrian man he shows love appreciate you fam. shout out easy money during the live stream one day. i did i did want to shout out adrian shout to out. our 2v2 mlb game Dope. What about when he washed you? Dope. He did wash me twice. <laughs> <laughs> you want to shout out the 2v2, did, but now he got wash washed. Who was on your team? I played as a bad team. I don't remember who. No, who no, was on was, your it team? It was 1v1. Adrian no. was on my team. We played a 2v2 oh, okay. against other, other two randoms. people. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But Can't beat him, join him. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, KD. <laughs> All right, KD. All right you everybody. Jordan is the Slim Reaper. <laughs> yes, uh, Slick Reaper, because you're a little thick now. All right, everybody. Uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Breaker. Okay. Barbershop Breaker.